500 traded offer lifted 75 spin welcome to price squawk when you open price squawk for the first time you will hear the activity of buyers and sellers in the form of buy and sell trade sell. sounds the loudness of trade sounds represents how much volume is flowing through the market or you can think of it as how fast the tape is moving pitch of trade sounds represents price as price moves up the pitch of trade sounds moves up and vice versa initially all trade sounds will be loud while price walk gains information by buffering your data within a few minutes though price walk will get louder when volume has increased or new sound, trading sound. volume is entering the market wow. and if your trade sounds get softer it is because trading activity has decreased price walk is using its auto mode yeah. algorithm to determine the volume flows in your market and the specifics of how auto mode works can be read on our blog or in the user manual shortly we will look at enabling some specific volume alerts that rely on auto mode wow. telling you specifically yeah. if new volume has entered yeah. the market in addition to auto mode when you first open price squawk some time and sales alerts are enabled to announce buy and sell trades of sizes 50 100 and 500 lots or shares or whatever unit is fit for your market by default these are announced using the price squawk speech engine 100 contracts bought will be announced as 100 lift and 50 100, contracts yeah. sold 100, announced right. as 50 hit the wording can be changed in the price walk settings or any number of sound effects used instead of the speech engine and Sound. these can be set in our volume alert configurations which we'll delve into shortly we'll also show you how you can change the time and sales alert sizes and how you can filter your trade sounds based on trade size so you'll only hear trade sounds if a certain size trade occurs and yeah. that sound will change in volume depending on the size of the trade the goal here is to give you a clear and audible perspective yeah. of the buying versus selling activity in your market and specific alerts for when traders are particularly yeah. active wow. and that should be enough to give you a good feel for yeah. price squawk before we configure it further if you haven't already opened a price squawk you can do so yeah. by adding the price squawk add-on indicator yeah. to a chart in ninja trader yeah. or yeah. clicking the price squawk button yeah. in price squawk desktop and entering wow. a symbol wow. that you wish to open if you're using xtrader so you can volume. drag a market from the market explorer onto the price walk control center Connected. and that will bring up a price walk for a market if you're a jigsaw trading customer you can also feed price walk from the reconstructed tape wow. and you do that by clicking on the price walk button within the pre the reconstructed tape window yeah. when price walk opens up wow. you'll first be faced with what we call the ladder view and this shows a basic animation of the buy versus trade sounds that you were hearing as well as letting you tick yeah. boxes yeah. for yeah. price alerts viewing the volume profile and yeah. the inside market activity all the colors here are configurable yeah. and you can use yeah. hotkeys yeah. for acknowledging alerts and resetting the profile yeah. at the top is yeah. the sound menu which lets you yeah. enable and disable various price squawk features if you untick yeah. trade sounds then you will no longer hear trade sounds yeah. for the market and you'll instead hear volume alerts or whatever other option you have selected here likewise for price Increase alerts volume. your volume alerts and squawk this is a global enabler of these different modes of price squawk disabling volume control removes the control that price cork has over the volume of your trade sounds normally volume control will make your trade sounds louder or softer depending on the trade sizes or the volume accumulated if you disable this then all your trade sounds will be at a constant sound level each trader will have different preferences for enabling and disabling these features for our purposes here we want to make sure that volume alerts are enabled volume control and trade sounds are enabled and then click on the configuration tab here we have a variety of settings that let us select the type of sounds we use for representing wow. buy versus sell trade sounds and yeah. price alert sounds and yeah. fine tuning of the individual sound effect characteristics such as the duration of a trade sound the difference in pitch between consecutive prices yeah. and how far the market moves in ticks before price will recenters the pitch otherwise it will indefinitely go to a higher and higher pitch and not be very useful yeah. information 
You can keep the pitch constant if you do not want to hear the price information by turning on bid ask pitch mode. You can save your price walk settings separate to your workspace so you can recall them at a later time or open from another computer or different platform. We are first going to modify the volume control settings to enable some time and sales filtering of our trade sounds. Make sure time and sales is selected from the drop down menu. You can see the default trade sizes of 50, 100 and 500 contracts used mm -hmm. for our trade size alerts. If you want to hear alerts for different sizes, mm -hmm. then change the values here appropriate to your market. The play button next to each setting lets you hear samples for your buy and sell alerts. We are going to disable time and sales alerts for now as we are now going to configure price squawk for listening to large trades using the tape instead. By this, I mean we will not hear a 50 hit or 100 hit alert. Our trade sounds themselves will represent the size trading through the tape by the loudness of the trade sounds. We achieve this by ticking the trade sounds checkbox and our trade sounds will immediately become filtered by the minimum value here. So you will now only hear trades of 50 contracts or more. This is not going to give much feedback of the tape in most markets. If you enter a minimum size of zero, then all trade sounds will be heard. For this example, we are listening to the E-mini, which can sound a bit chaotic during the main session. By entering a minimum value of five, we are only going to hear trades of five contracts or more, which clears up the tape audio to some degree. Setting medium to 20 and maximum to 50 will play louder trade sounds when bigger traders are buying and selling. If you are following along with this, example, then our auto mode is also contributing to the loudness of trade sounds. We will talk about how combining volume modes works in a subsequent video, but for the sake of getting familiar with price squawk, we'll now switch to the auto mode settings and configure an order flow alert and disable the control auto mode has over our trade sounds. Select auto from the drop down menu. The minimum, middle and maximum boxes are now automatically updated by price walk with useful values that represent normal, large and unusually high volume. By unchecking the trade sounds box, the loudness of trade sounds is now purely governed by the time and sales settings we just configured. Volume alerts are already enabled, so we're going to change how they are announced now for auto mode. Our user options for price squawk can be found by clicking on the MISC the miscellaneous menu at the top of Price Squawk. Then select Options and browse to the Volume Mode Auto section. There are a number of settings here to tweak the auto algorithm, which are explained at the bottom of the Options window and in more detail in the User Manual. Expand the Auto Volume Settings group and change Volume Alert Mode to General Speech. This Volume Alert Mode will simplify Auto Volume Alerts to announce Middle Volume and Maximum Volume in our market. Yet. Next, expand the yeah. Auto yeah. Volume Alerts section and enable the Middle Increasing Alert. These two enabled alerts will now give you the heads up yeah. that volume yeah. is spiking relative to the configured time window. Yeah. 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 It is recommended to leave these settings at their default. Time tested to be effective in most markets here. If you close the options window, you will now have a setup that alerts you to spikes in volume using the auto volume alerts and lets you hear the filtered tape for your market using the time and sales settings. Save these settings yes, for now by yes. clicking the save as button at the top of the configuration window. And let's try out one more configuration that is a favorite amongst customers. And this lets you hear only the tape when the market is getting excited. Turn off the time and sales trade sounds initially and enable yes. your trade yes. sound alerts to keep you informed of unusually large orders being filled. Set yeah. the minimum, middle and maximum yeah. values to useful figures for your market. Now back in the user options, navigate to auto volume settings section, set the below minimum volume value to zero and the minimum sound level to zero. Now you will only hear trade sounds when the auto volume is yeah. above the middle and maximum calculated values which you can observe in the configuration tab again. Yeah. When auto volume crosses yeah. these values, it corresponds to above normal volume and unusually yeah. high volume entering the market. Search for auto mode on the blog for a better understanding of how Price Squawk determines these volume conditions. Save these settings again so you can recall them later. Price Squawk can be used in this current state to hear the tape and in turn the buying and selling activity in your market 
in the context of the overall volume flow in your market. To your ears, the tape will only become audible when Price Cork has determined that the volume trading in your market is above normal, with the intensity of trade sounds increasing as volume spikes. You will be able to identify the buying versus selling forces at play by the individual trade sounds, and additionally the time and sales alerts configured will announce when large trades are being triggered. These conditions, large trades and increased volume, can be used by discretionary traders to identify opportune trading conditions and then in turn focus on the DOM for placing and managing orders. With Pricewalk enabled for a couple of sessions with this simple configuration, you should also notice how it simplifies the market into intuitive trade sounds that represent the ebb and flow of volume trading and the buying versus selling bias. Once you are familiar with Pricewalk kicking in when the market is picking up, you may consider enabling all price quark sounds again by setting the below minimum sound level setting to a small value. This will keep you tuned into the tape at all times instead of just hearing the tape when volume is elevated. In the next video we will look at the other volume modes available and how you can use different volume modes for producing an intuitive audible tape. We will also introduce the price quark squawk mode which announces price action and combines all alert features into a useful audio stream for maintaining your market perspective. Offer lifted. Handle. 61. 25's bid. Bid taken. 25's offer.